In three, two, one, we're back with another episode. How you doing, my good man? Times are tough, huh? So they say, so they say. Had to cut wardrobe budget. Yeah. As I can see, yeah. My, uh, no more, uh, no more fancy uh, floral shirts. Now, just only, I'm down to my uh, Patriot hand-me-downs. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Exactly. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Anyway, what can I say? Times are tough. Not only for you and your attire, but also for the Pondering Ponytail. Views are down. Jesus Subscriptions Christ. are flat. I blame you for this. You're head of production. You're head of editing. All right. Okay. You're head fine. of writing. Fine. Fine. I pick up that gauntlet mm. and tell you about what we're going to do today. All right? God. So, a little bit of change in direction. Yeah. Which I'm positive <laughs> will garner us more views, more subscriptions, okay, more on. comments yeah, yeah, from our great following. Great. Okay. Yeah. Time for something a little bit more serious. Yeah. Yep. Go on. Yep. Yep. Go on. Sunglass performances in the movies. Yeah. I can speak knowledgeably about well, this. Well, of course, you're the king Obviously, of the sunglasses. Yeah. We want to know, or we want to discuss rather, iconic roles that sunglasses have played in movies. You mean when the sunglass is a character in the film? Indeed. Exactly. Spot right, on. Right. Spot on. Exactly. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. okay. Kick us off, why don't you? Okay. Well, in researching, as I have done, ah. because, you know... That's what you do. That's what I do these days. You're fine. It's all you do. A few honorable mentions about key right. sunglass okay. performance in movies, okay. right? Okay, fine, fine, fine. They're not making our top 10, but they're right. honorable mentions. Okay, so we have a sunglass, iconic sunglasses in the movies, top 10. Yes, countdown. Rolls off the tongue. First of all, let's bring up Reservoir Dogs. Fine, yeah. A film yep. you dearly love. I love it. Okay. Made that, me want to get into films, movies. That made you want to get into films. And film. look how far I've come. Boom. All that, right. that, that, I don't want to say like, uh, what do you call it? Popularized. No. But it 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 had a very iconic yeah, scene featuring I mean, like but the, whole, the whole the whole thing, the, the whole, whole getup, sunglasses, the black and white suits, the Ray the, the Ray Ban Wayfarers. One of the most maybe the most famous sunglasses. Yes, I mean model. appears in a lot of movies. I'm a sure of, some yeah, that are on are. our list. But yes, that scene when they're you know the crew is walking down the road. The song is playing. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Iconic scene. Why is it so iconic? Why is it so? What did it? What did it tell us about the characters? What did it tell us about the film? What did it tell us about? If you want to be a badass, okay, yeah. wear some Wayfarers. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. I like it. I like All right. it. Okay. So, what is your other honorable mention? My other honorable mention is. 1968's Thomas Crown Affair, Steve McQueen rocking Persil 714s. Okay, what about why not the remake with uh, our good friend uh, Brozo, Pierce Brosnan? Actually, Brosnan, have you seen him on this GQ kind of tutorial that he's done? The Is that new? The 10 things he can't live without. Yes, yes, I have. And he actually talks about sunglasses yeah, and he yeah. says, Persil, I like Yes. Per I like Persils, I like yeah. Carreras, I like, you know, kind of a like, slick Italian movie star. But, but actually, but actually. Yeah. Steve McQueen, Fine. King of Cool, Fine. right? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, right, okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Steve McQueen, uh, King of Cool, yeah. Parasol Sunglasses. 714s. Thomas Crown Come Affair. On. But, yes, but while on. we're on the... Set's falling apart. While we're on the subject of Brosnan, mm -hmm. Tomorrow Never Dies, I think. Improved model, new specs. The blue ones, yeah. the blue lens. I don't know where they're from, but they were crap. Whatever, they're from no, Q. That's where they, they are. <laughs> That's where they're from. Oh, they're from Q's laboratory, right? Exactly. They're MI6 edition. Listen, but knowing Brosnan, yes, I know, yeah. uh, knowing the, that, that, you know, James, those James Bond films, yes. they were all like heavily marketing. Well, he was product a product He was written Brioni so they were, suits. Yeah, they were probably some brands. Okay, well, we should some have we, shit brands. We should have researched this. Yeah, 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 don't worry. And don't by worry. the way, by the way, <laughs> yeah. shame on you. You're doing an episode on sunglasses. Even on this episode, you're not wearing a pair of sunglasses. Oh, 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 that's your shtick. I'll it's come a, up with something come else. Come on. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, come on. Fine. All right. Fine. But anyways, Fair. what do we think about McQueen rocking Parasol Sound? I think cool. In, uh, I think cool. Okay. Cool, right? Any okay. more honorable mentions? Any honorable mentions, yes. I would have to say the Clubmasters. The Rain Man yeah, Clubmasters. What about the movies? Rain not... Man, Tom Cruise, fine. the Clubmaster. Fine. Right? All right. Who Tom Cruise, them? who's been maybe, maybe the official sunglass king on screen. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You We've might got be a couple something. We've got a couple of his in the top 10. In our list. Yeah. Try to guess right now what you think. I would say Rain Man. Rain Man would fall slightly outside. Okay. But you know, what was... What, what yeah, was Rain it? Man is not known for his sunglasses. The movies we're talking about are synonymous with sunglasses. I actually think you're being a bit harsh on Rain Man. Because I think actually, like, he he actually did more for Ray-Bans. Well, he did as much 
for rebounds in this film he did for another film that's on our list and um all right, can anyway, we get to the I think list? It was a, like, you know, it was a good look for the kind of 80s sure, yuppie, sure, aspiring 80s sure, yuppie, all right? Sure, honorable sure. mention. Fine, so all right. let's start with number 10. In 10. Oh, I forgot one more honorable oh, mention. Fuck. I forgot <laughs> one more honorable mention. What is I'm it? sorry. What is it? Ray Band 3138 Shooters, as supported by Johnny Depp and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Fear and Loathing Come on. in Las Vegas, yep. I mean, yeah, the poster had him wearing those yes. sunglasses with the little cigarette holder. The, the cigarette holder. Very good. What, 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 how would you describe them? They were kind of like these like chunky They like, were like aviators. hunting glasses. Hunting, yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. the big yellow tint. Exactly. Okay. Safety goggles. Not bad. Good, good shout. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, shout out to that. Okay, so let's go in with number 10. In at number 10. The Matrix. The Matrix, okay. obviously. Give it away. The little small rimless. like uh, are they rimless whatever they are but everybody's wearing a different pair of sunglasses morpheus has those ones that like have no like uh arms for the ears okay yes whatever yes good very good Just, you know okay tribute. that's his keanu impersonation uh keanu has the, everybody's wearing sunglasses in that and they especially are. the the antagonist mr smith yes. played by hugo weaving well done <laughs> By the way, I have to say, I'm not a fan of these, any of the sunglasses worn in this film. Fine. I'm gonna, it, it, it does have to break the top 10 because I know that on a macro level, the wider, the, yeah. wider audiences love them. And, and the influences had and the, the amount of time massive, it's referenced. Absolutely. Yeah, all of those kind of things. But you, did you like the film? No, not really. Jesus. Did you? Yes, of course. Okay. I didn't it's an amazing that. film. All right. But did you like the, did, look, this is the acid test. Did you want to be like any one of the characters yes. and oh you did Neo yeah Maybe. if I did could like learn any if I could have his kung fu skills if I could like jump from one tall building to another if I could like duck on the bullets like that yeah yeah did I'd you like ever go to, did you ever go buy an imitation pair from Ken or Camden Market probably did you I don't remember you doing that well you know you were more of a black rim nerd nerd glasses man as I recall okay I never let's remember go on, you let's, can those, we like, can we can we move on to number say, nine number nine all right this is one I actually rate highly yes Fight Club all of people's five two three, my man. As, uh, as yes, worn by yes, Brad Pitt. Yes, okay. Brad Pitt. I remember them. The red lenses. They yes. were quite big. Big. I remember a lot of kids around that time were wearing those sunglasses. Uh, everybody wanted to be like Brad Pitt in Fight Club. So I, I, I presume you aspired to him. I did aspire to be like him. Ridiculous. And by the way, that yes. look. Yes. I think far superseded Keanu Reeves's look in The Matrix. Wearing whatever the black leather coat okay, and yes, but you know, like, you yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, there's I know, cool, but like, like one's like a sci-fi film, bro. Do you know what I mean? You can't like you can't compare the two. Do you know what I'm saying? One's set in the future, the other one's set in present day. Of course, it's like you can get away with Brad Pitt look. I mean, you couldn't really get away with Brad Fair Pitt's enough, look. But plenty of people tried. Yes, plenty of people and tried. And the hair. And the hair. I even tried. You did exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> fine. All right, fine. fine. All right. Are you are you are you are you um, are you accepting of this at number nine? I accept. You accept this, okay. Number eight. Yes. I have chosen. Go on. Oh, okay, okay. This one is. This could have. This should have been higher, maybe. Yeah, go on. Cobra, Sylvester Stallone, rocking the Ray Ban three, thirty thirty outdoorsman. First of all, yes. kudos on learning the specs of the sunglasses. Thank you very much. Two, our old friend Sly. Yeah. In Cobra, and yes, yes, yes. I remember the poster very well. Yes. He's wearing those big black aviator or whatever the hell you called them outdoorsman right on 3030s very good <laughs> full black yeah everything he's wearing is black matchstick actually it might have influenced the matrix not bad child yeah, yeah. okay you out. know what okay. let's we're gonna stick to that yeah line. if there was no cobra <laughs> there would have never been a matrix and you know what the key line in the key line is Go on. At the conclusion of the film Cobra. Okay, can't wait. When for this. the Night Slasher, the ah, villain of the yes. piece, the guy with the big, massive chin, is like, I'm gonna kill you, pig. That was pig, by the way, just in case. Oh, pig. Because okay. you know, pig is a, syno is a synonym for cop. Very yeah. good, yes, yes. Uh, uh, oh, that's uh, interesting. Colloquialism yeah. for cop, yeah. I'll make a note of that. I'm gonna kill you, pig. All right, please. And Stallone is pointing the uh, kind of makeshift uh, souped up gun. He's like, this is where the law stops, and I start. Sucker. Number seven. You like that one? No. Okay, fine. <laughs> Number seven, a dead heat. Between, okay. between Richard Gere's Giorgio Armani lenses in American Gigolo. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. Explain. No, no, no. What? Okay, Giorgio Armani, yes, go on, continue. Okay, and? And, wait, hold on. Tell me more about that, because... 
I don't know anything about okay, American first G- of First of all, yeah. American Gigolo is one of the first films that actually uh, popularized fashion in film, right? Giorgio Armani actually made his name from American Gigolo, in case you didn't know that, okay? Because all the costume was... You know, designed by him. All of Richard good trivia, Gears. my man. Yes, good exactly. trivia. The same way, by the way, yes. that Gianni Versace was highly responsible for the what's it called prominence of Miami Vice five years later. Okay. 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 So Giorgio Armani kind of made his name. I don't think he made his name, but you're I giving mean, me ideas for the next video. But but <laughs> but Giorgio Armani was pivotal to the American Gigolo film. Okay. And its legacy. So he's and got the sunglasses. He's got the suit. Do you remember what the sunglasses were? No. They were kind of like these red like burgundy and burgundy tint yes like burgundy gradient very cool the opening scene driving around in his like vintage mercedes to yeah. blondie's call me yeah like right on the uh, pacific coast highway very very cool very iconic scene fine also richard gear one of the great great style sexy icons of okay. all time okay you got to give him a shout out for that we'll give him a shout out you Not accept like, this nothing I, I don't think it's that iconic no because i think our joint other Number seven contender oh, yeah. is even more iconic. Okay, another pair of Ray Ban outdoors, and that is sported by Walter, aka John Goodman, in the Big Lebowski. The Big Lebowski, John Goodman, always had those glasses on, as far as I can tell. Larger than life. Shut char- the fuck up, Donnie. Larger than life character, and yes, great movie, far more iconic than your American Gigolo. You think so? Yes, indeed. But did you want to be more like Gear or Goodman? Always Goodman. Yeah, me too. Especially in the Flintstones. Yeah, me too. All right, number six. <laughs> okay. Number six. All right. We're on a mission from God. Blues Brothers. I mean, you know what? In a Big. way, it doesn't get more iconic. It than doesn't that. get more iconic. I mean, you know, we could also say hmm. if there was no Blues Brothers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sets falling apart. If there was no Blues Brothers, there'd never be Reservoir Dogs. Basically identical, yeah. apart from the hats, right? Back it's to true. the Wayfarers. It's true, actually, the suit, the tie, the black Wayfarers. You're absolutely right. There you go. Okay, My but, but God. having said that, the theories were coming out. To, <laughs> listen, you, you know what? If we don't oh, go, they put if, it there, brother. If we don't go from 62 to 63 subscribers, we're going up. <laughs> we're going places. We're going. Places. I don't know what the hell's up. Actually, All right, anyway, actually, I never thought about that until you just brought it up. That's a great shout. Thank you. Thank you. I we should research it. this. Yes, we should. We should research this deeply. Okay. All right. Okay. Fine. Okay. So there. So we got. Okay. So Blues Brothers. I mean, like amongst the most iconic, right? Yeah. Characters in sunglasses. Okay. I mean, if you just see a silhouette of of the Blues Brothers poster, you know exactly what it is, where it came from. Exactly. Like, exactly. Oddly enough. Yes. I don't know the film at all. The film is good, actually. Is it? Yeah, it's not know. a bad oh, film. Okay. Great music. Uh. What can I say? Great chase scene with the cars. I remember that. I remember it's that. been a while. We need to... You All know, right. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you yeah, think. It's true, it's true. You know. Thinking outside the box for number okay, five. Number five. What do we got? Thinking outside the what box we got? for number five. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Jack Nicholson. All day, every day, everywhere. On screen. Is that a screen. movie? No. All day, everywhere. All day, off, off no, screen. No, I mean, it's a kind of hybrid what of that movie. movie? That would be best We're talking about movie. No, I'm, but I'm saying like, he's not in a movie. But Nicholson transcends right. film, right? Okay. Nicholson is the most right. famous right. sunglass wearer okay. on screen and off screen. I get right? it. Okay. Give me From a movie though. Easy what? Rider. As good as it gets. He's not known for wearing sunglasses. So we live in a world that has walls and those walls have the guard men with guns. Who's going to do it? You, you, Tender Weinberg, I have a great responsibility that you can possibly fathom. You work for Santiago and you, Kristen Reeds. You have the luxury of not knowing that I know that Santiago's death, while tragic, saved lives, and that my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saved lives. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. Use them as a the punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the freedom that I fried and then question the manner in which I provided. I would rather you said thank you and be on your way. Otherwise, it's just you pick up work and stand post. Either way, I don't give a Deb, what do you think you were entitled to? Ask me if I ordered the code red. Did you order the code red? You goddamn right I did! Okay, fine. So, no sunglasses worn, <laughs> but thank you for that. I mean, yes, as in as good as it gets, there is that scene where he's doing that thing with the trick and the sunglasses fall onto yes. his face. For that, I Something's will allow... Something's got to give. He's great in sunglasses. He's, I think he's like a, a big Ray-Ban fan. Fine, I'll give it to you. Okay. I mean, just for that... You know. Did you like the monologue? The monologue alone. You good. get it. Okay, so what okay, are we okay. so what number are we on here? We're at five. We're going down to four. Number four. Okay. Back to the Wayfarer. Tom Cruise, risky business. Now you're talking. Now, now we're talking, baby. You're talking about iconic sunglasses that are okay. part of the character that are synonymous with the film. And if you remember, he's wearing those sunglasses throughout the film predominantly. Yeah. And 
I remember it's one of the last scenes where okay. he's been caught for all his wrongdoings mm. or right doings. And he's raking the garden, doing his chores. He's grounded. Mm -hmm. And he throws the rake away, puts a cigarette in his mouth, puts on the Wayfarers, lights it, credits roll. If you remember, the main sunglass scene actually Go on. is when his, uh, when the Dean of Princeton yeah. comes to his house when he's throwing that you know, uh, or orgy, orgy with the prosies. Or orgy party. Or prosies. And he thinks basically like he's <laughs> completely like By the way, that's chances. a reference to our great man, uh, Bombay Slippers. He'll be back, don't He'll you worry. He'll be back, yeah. Okay. And he says, sometimes you just gotta say, what the fuck, and make your move, puts on the sunglasses. And in fact, later on in the film, he thinks he's basically scuppered his chances of going to Princeton. But the Dean has seen some genius in him, some entrepreneurial genius and says Princeton can use a guy like Joel. And all thanks to, to the Wayfarers. Exactly, exactly. All right. All right, we're moving on to number three. And allow me. I mean, you, you give it away. One of my favorite films. And I feel Mine the sun- too, I love this film too, but you know. Okay, and his. And I feel the sunglasses are iconic. Something a little bit left of field. Korean, old boy. How do you yes. feel about that? I think it's a great film. You made me watch it for the first time under duress. Yes. I was haunted by it. I had nightmares about it. Great. I love eating octopus now. Yes. But do you remember, what was the character's Clotin name? Asleep. Odessu. Odessu. If you remember. He has great hair. It was amazing and he's hair. And he's rocking the soot. The hair dye, if I'm not mistaken. A bit like you right listen, now. Listen. I don't, listen. Just can, <laughs> can, we, can we take a pause here? We did a whole show about hair dye. Hair dye and celebrity hair and, and got, celebrity hair dye color. 40 views. Okay. We got 41 views. Now. Less than the number of our subscribers. Hold on. That is quite a Back feat. then it was more. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Subsequently, since yes. we've been talking about hair dye, you know, we had a whole variety on that episode. Mm -hmm. Since then, I keep asking you about hair dye, and all you can say is soot, soot, soot. Because most people that we talk about have jet black hair. Jesus. Okay, fine, fine. I want variety, my friend. Okay. I want variety. Okay, we can talk about Robert Redford now. Okay, at age 88, sporting the organic carrot. There you go. Fine, okay, fine. Can you and Robert remember? Redford, by the way, a good aviator's man. Very good. Right? Okay. Very good. But off screen. Anyway, going back Actually, to... Actually, on screen, Three Days of the Condor. Going back to... Uh, old Odessu. Boy. Yeah, Odessu. He's wearing these like cheap sort of knockoff Oakley-type sunglasses. I don't know what the hell they are, but I know I had a pair in 1996. So, <laughs> let me get this straight. Odessu's sunglasses were cheap plastic knockoffs. You didn't know what they were, so you got an imitation version of from Top Man, of from Cheap Top Man, no less. So you got a, a shop that doesn't exist anymore. I wish it did. <laughs> you got an imitation version of a cheap imitation version. Yeah. Story of my life. Jesus number three. Christ. No, number two. Oh, by the way, I just want to reference one more person. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't mean to go off script, right? But never somebody you before. big, big sunglass guy, not a film star, not on screen. Okay, so but I just need to do with anything. Well, it's just important footnotes. Okay. Because maybe he'll sponsor us. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. Good thinking. Ray Bad, please. Oakley sunglasses and yes. Andre Agassi. My man. Yeah. Oakley sunglasses and Andre Agassi. I mean, did, did as much for Oakley as Tom Cruise did for Ray Ban, as Jack Nichols, as Steve McQueen did for Persil. I mean, I just have to throw that okay, out. There. Okay, besides the point. Let's go on to number two. Okay, okay. All right. It's a trilogy, or more than that, actually. Terminator 1, 2, and 3. You know what? This should really be number one. Because the Terminator yeah. and the Terminator movies and the association to sunglasses. What are the sunglasses? Gargoyle Ansi and Parasol Rati. Oh, very good. No. I wrote that are, down. Are, I mean, amongst the most iconic in any movie. Yes, agreed. Right? Yeah. And in fact, my favorite scene, and it's a bit of a running theme throughout the films, because in Terminator 3, yes. the best thing about Terminator 3, which is. is what, called Rise of the Machines, I think? Correct. Anyway, the best thing about it is when he's reanimated, he's come back as a Terminator, Arnie that is, and he picks up his sunglasses like he always does in the start of every film, but this time they're kid sunglasses, and those are weird star-shaped, I mean, it's a great comedic moment. Wh wh which is your favorite model? Th those ones. Those are my favorite models. Okay, but can you please the tell... The star-shaped Elton John can sunglasses you please, yeah, that they Arnie are, wears. They are Elton yeah, John exactly. sunglasses. Can you please tell the audiences how that drives that plot, where it drives what, you know, what it does for the character, what it does for the film? Well, it becomes, you know, it's kind of... It becomes a bit of a parody of itself. 
Yes. That film is a bit of a parody. And I think that scene in particular sets the tone. Although the film is not that great. Number three. Yeah. Yeah, what about number one and two? I mean, amazing. Yeah. All right, what are you trying to get at? I don't know. Because I don't know where you're going with this. I'm just spitballing. All right, very good. Now, since you finished spitballing, let's hit him with number one. This number is one. You. Top Gun, Tom Cruise, Ray-Ban, Aviator Originals. Very good. Very good. Can you dispute good. this? I can. Can you make a case against I this? Mean, listen, you I can make a case I against think, this. I think it's very. You close. think old boy? No. Yeah. I think it's very close between Top Gun and Terminator. All right. In terms of the most iconic sunglasses. Now you guys might have a different different idea about this, but that's what I think. And yes, while the aviators in Top Gun yeah. kind of, you know took changed the only, game not only yeah not only elevated the film but also took that sunglass industry Absolutely. and ray-bans yeah. to like a, to the next yeah. level i mean can't be disputed but yeah i think those scenes and that movie which i actually not a big fan of really not a bit i love maverick really does he rock him in maverick he rocks him in maverick well he's got a rock son him your ego is cashing checks your body can't cash sorry indeed indeed yeah go on so yeah i think yeah you're right and ideally we would have had a link to all these sunglasses in our comments so you can purchase them yourself, but we're not there yet. We'll get there. Uh, and by the maybe way, one of our followers maybe, can do may, that. And maybe, maybe we'll get a sunglass sponsor here soon. Yes. Right? Yes. Any sponsor. Yes. Just anyone. Tipsy. What is it? Pipsy? What's that Ooh. song? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. I don't know what you're talking about. So that's it. I think we did good. <laughs> Except we'll for see the when... fact you're not wearing a pair of shades yourself. I guess we'll is... see when we post. Anyway. Well done. Well done. Comments, likes, subscriptions. We're begging you. We're begging you. <laughs>